Hey guys, what's going on? I've got another Alliance War video for you today. And today my Alliance is going to be facing off against uh, OB Air, which is um, just ISO 8A in a new um, Alliance. So this war video today, um, my team was chosen for me because we are actually going to be assigned the main boss, which is a Dr. Doom. So we're going back to Ghost for this war, and this is going to be a little bit of like a roller coaster ride, as you'll see. Um, I have some really good fights, and um, I'm going to have like at least one really bad fight, so all right. Uh, we're going to be starting on path five, and this is um, Power Focus 1 and Enhanced Special 1. So basically what that means is that the uh, the defender is going to gain extra power while they build to their special one. And then after they get to um, their special one, they'll get less power. So it's kind of a cool node, um, but it's a way to uh, make sure that they get more specials that are unblockable. So we're going to use Ghost for this one. And we're boosted. Um, decently well because we're also going to be taking node 20. So you can see there, um, you know, two special twos and that fight's over. Not too bad at all. And now we are going to be moving along, waiting for our alliance mate to clear us. And we're going to be taking this havoc on node 20. We're going to use warlock for this fight. And as you will see, um, this fight is a little bit rocky. So this is the boost buff uh, unstoppable. And I don't know if it's a reflex or what, but I like try to hit this guy so many times when he's unstoppable. Like right there, I went in, got hit with a heavy, and then did it again right afterwards. So, we're going to be more careful about it now. Um, and he went unstoppable in the middle of our special attack, which is fine. And now, I'm just holding block until his unstoppable goes away. So, there he went unstoppable again. And now I'm just kind of going to sit in the corner and wait for him to throw another heavy, drop a special two, and the fight's over. So it wasn't a good fight, um, but as it's been said before, if you don't die, it's, you know, it is a good fight. So we're going to be moving along now to section two, path one, and this was like a little bit later. I don't take the fights quite yet, though, because um, I was waiting for my health boost to wear off before uh, healing up Warlock. So I'm going to go in. This is going to be a rank 5 Namor on Vigor and um, Indomitable. So Warlock, in my opinion, is like the answer for these fights. And we're just going to try to get um, some virus charges on him and get some infections going so that he won't regenerate when the Vigor hits. And also, I'm not going to be uh, applying any bleeds to Namor because I don't want him to reflect damage back onto me. So we're just trying to bait out a special there. It didn't really happen. So now we're trying for another one, leaving ourselves open. And sometimes I feel like Namor can get really stingy with his specials. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop a special two here. We're not boosted super heavily for this fight. I wasn't concerned about it. Got a good intercept there and the fight's over. So that was one of our good fights. <clears throat> and just checking to make sure I'm still recording. And now we're going to be moving along to this Thor Ragnarok fight. And this one... Um, I'm going to put a little potion into Warlock here. Uh, this one is... You know... Fine, I guess. It... 
Let's just see how it goes. I'm not quite sure what the thought process is for the placement here. Um, I don't fully... I don't see um, who Thor Ragnarok could give any issues to on this node. Um, so we're just going to be parrying and heavying um, to try to keep our, our hit count down. And it starts out going okay. Drop a special two. And that was kind of a mistake because that special two has so many hits. And now I don't have any more power to drop a special onto him. And then I got hit there. So at this point, I'm kind of trying to bait out a special. Drop a special one. And yeah, the rest of this fight's pretty straightforward, but you know. I did get hit, so I'm not going to call it like a great fight or anything. So I guess for this war now, we've taken four fights and we've had two clean ones and two that weren't super clean. So we're going to be going in. This is the following day. Um, I'm boosted for this fight and the boss fight. And I didn't really want to use a potion, so um, I threw on a combat regen boost. Which was probably unnecessary, but this is Wasp, super easy with uh, Warlock. With someone like Void, I could see it being a little bit more difficult, but with Warlock having that uh, one-hit heavy attack, um, she can't really evade you as long as you can parry her, and yeah, there was no point during this fight where I felt like I was at any sort of you know, risk of getting hit with Void, um, especially with the dodge node, I feel like it would be really easy to get backed up. Here, um, I tried to drop a special two on her, but she um, evaded out of it, which is fine. And Warlock does enough damage there that, um, you know, she, she doesn't really stand a chance. So we're gonna be moving on now. I did not know I was gonna be taking this fight and this fight is just an embarrassment. So, um, it's probably my karma for making fun of um, a friend and alliance mate of mine in one of my off-season war videos um, for like dying to a Doctor Doom. Because, well, you'll see. So I go in here with Warlock, my plan uh, and this is debuff immune and power lock one. Um, the plan was to use ghost for the boss. So since I was already boosted for the boss, I did not want um, to have to heal ghost again, especially while I was boosted. So she's got her living strands up. She's just hitting into my block. I'm hitting her once. And I got clipped with that heavy. So then I throw my special one to try to get her away from me and to get rid of her living strands and there she evades and just destroys me so super embarrassing fight um dap came in and cleaned that one up so thank you dap and now we're going to be moving on to the main boss so um my battle group officers told me who to bring for this fight um i can't you know i was just doing what i was told here so i can't really take credit for this fight but um, Ghost just makes this fight so easy. I threw on a power start boost because one came into the store last night. And I did a couple duels just to try to get the timing down on evading the special one. Um, so we're going to drop a special two. Get some of our power back from our tech power boost. And now we're going to bait out the special one. We don't want to push him to a special two like at all. So we got the timing down on that special one. We're going to drop another special two on him here. And you can see that we're getting shock on us too. And as soon as we face that off, we're getting furies from it. So we've got another special one here. Dodge that one successfully. And this one I was a little bit too early on. So I'm trying to phase that shock off. Drop another special two. Gets us almost back to another special two. 
And we're going to drop our last special too. And that fight is over. So we got, um, we got a solo on the boss, which was great. And, um, we did end up losing this war. So we're off to a really rocky start here. Um, congratulations to both sides. Hopefully we can come back, um, in the next few wars, but yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.